Weather Center with us today. So Josh, the storm seemed to be uh, dissipated, but the cold weather is on its way. Yeah, the cold weather is coming in, Angie. You know what, though, from leftover from those storms or kind of related to the whole scenario, we do still have a little bit of precipitation out there this morning, but this is not a big deal. Uh, this is not the kind of stuff that would have woken you up like we had some of those storms last night into early this morning. Just a couple of little showers or sprinkles on the heels of a brisk northwest wind that is coming in. And we've seen some gusts approaching 30 miles per hour. Tampa a gust of 28, the same in Bradenton. And that's the kind of thing we'll see through the day. Uh, temperatures will be getting colder. It's not bad this morning. We're in the upper 50s and lower 60s. It's just we're going to go the other direction, 50s by this afternoon. So if you're heading out to the Manatee County Fair in Palmetto this afternoon, it's going to be chilly. It's going to be windy in the 50s. And then tomorrow, a better looking day, but still on the cool side. Even with sunshine, we'll only get to about 59 degrees. A couple of warmer days will be upcoming before we cool down again. I'll have much more on that forecast in just a few minutes with weather on the nines. But for now, Angie, we'll send it back to you. It is 7.09 right now. That means it's time to check in with meteorologist Josh Linker for us in the Weather Center. So, Josh, I'm wondering, is the sky going to be cloudy tonight? Are we going to be able to see the eclipse? We actually will likely see the eclipse, Angie. We've got a lot of clouds out there now, but the process in the atmosphere is for some drier air to come in, and that will set us up for a clearer sky. But it's definitely cloudy out there now in most spots. We're looking outside here from Tarpon Springs as our view brought to you by Dimmit Chevrolet. Also seeing a little bit of some rain or sprinkles coming through. In fact, we'll look here at Kleistra 9 and there we go. There's one right around Tarpon Springs that was putting a couple of raindrops on the camera lens. This will be relatively insignificant from a precipitation standpoint, uh, but I do expect a lot of clouds to stick around. The other story today is the wind that is strong out of the northwest or west northwest. We have gusts to 28 miles per hour, a gust of 31 now in Bradenton and a gust of 32 miles per hour in Winter Haven. And this is the kind of thing we're going to be looking for today. Here we go to our view from Tampa International Airport brought to you by Fear Now Insurance. We see a lot of clouds out there, a little bit of uh, some rain showing up as well. 63, so that temperature is not that bad. The problem is we're just not going to warm up today. In fact, we're going to get colder as we go through the day. Again, we have that gusty wind. So the temperatures this morning, upper 50s to low 60s, pretty mild for a January morning, but we're going in the wrong direction through the day. 50s to maybe 60 by lunchtime. And then look what happens this afternoon in the low to mid 50s. So that's what you need to prepare for if you have outdoor plans. It's going to be windy. Wind chill values will start to make their appearance uh, near freezing even this evening. And by tomorrow morning, we could have some wind chills in the 20s across the area. The actual air temperature will be near freezing in our northern counties and the upper 30s to near 40 closer to Tampa Bay. And then through the day tomorrow, sunshine, lighter wind, but it's going to be chilly with highs only in the upper 50s. So here's the satellite imagery. The front is just about on our doorstep. The prefrontal line of heavy showers and storms that has shifted to the east and we're seeing a lot of cold air clouds over the Gulf of Mexico. They will generally be in place for most of the day. They'll start to break up a bit by later on, but I'm not expecting any kind of significant precipitation. Just some of these light showers or sprinkles with the gusty wind for another few hours. Mostly cloudy, windy turning colder this afternoon in the upper 50s by then. Mostly clear, breezy and chilly overnight. We'll go 39, freezing in our northern counties. And tomorrow there'll be sunshine, lots of it. It'll be chilly, but not as windy the high of 59. We'll get back to the 70s before we cool down again later in the week. I'll have much more coming up in less than 10 minutes. But first, here is another look at Kleistron 9. Just about half past the hour. Good morning and thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker and we are looking at a changeable day today. We had warmer temperatures first thing this morning, and we'll look for a steady drop to those numbers as we go through the day. It'll be a mostly cloudy to cloudy scenario through noontime. It'll be windy, 59 at lunchtime, 57 at 4 o'clock. So the temperatures are going the wrong way and then getting cold this evening down to 50 already by 8 o'clock. That means our colder spots will already be down into the low 40s. Going to the beach today, there's a rip current risk. I'm not sure why you'd go in the water anyway. Water temperature at 63. The sun would set this evening at 6.01. We have another cool day tomorrow, then a warming trend, then another cool down. We'll talk all about that forecast with weather on the nines.
It is 739. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker. Thanks for staying with us here for weather on the nines. A couple of little showers out there right now. Nothing too terribly significant, but we do have some gusty wind and that's just kind of making things a little bit less pleasant out there this morning. As we look here at Kleister 9 and see a couple of these showers rolling through some in the Gulf of Mexico. This is actually very similar to the process that generates lake effect snowfall. It's colder air coming over the warmer waters and in this case it's the Gulf of Mexico. So we have a lot of clouds and we're seeing a couple of these showers. Now the air mass is nowhere near cold enough to produce any kind of snow. Uh, but we do have again those s rain showers that are coming in. Now as we look at the bigger view, the line of heavy storms that came through early this morning and part of late last night that has shifted well to the east and we just have some of these little showers that are out there. Plenty of clouds in place. These are the cold air clouds here in the Gulf of Mexico and the cold front itself is just on our doorstep now and we'll start to see the temperatures backing off now as we go through the day. We're looking outside from Madeira Beach. Our camera brought to you by Innovation Cabinetry and the surf is all churned up this morning and it will be throughout today as the winds will be strong. We're down to 59 in Madeira Beach. The dew point 54, the wind gauge not reporting at this point. So we'll look at some other winds around the area and we have gusts to 28 in Bradenton, same in Tampa. Just about everywhere looking at gusts over 20 miles per hour. Sarasota gusts to 33 miles per hour. And I do expect those wind gusts to remain strong throughout today. Now the temperatures this morning really aren't all that bad for a January morning. The thing is, we're just actually going to see the numbers go backwards as we go through the day. And here's that forecast. So we're in the low 60s now. Lunchtime 59, 4 o'clock 57. And then by 8 o'clock down to 50. So yeah, we're going the wrong way today with that colder air mass that is settling in. Eventually the clouds will break up. And if you were interested in seeing the lunar eclipse tonight, which begins around 1030, I do expect mainly clear skies by then. Just have the jacket because it's going to be rather chilly heading out tonight. Now the big weather story around the country is snowfall, some of it heavy across the northeast, upstate New York heading into New England. But good news for you. If you have travel plans, it'll be just rain in New York City and Boston and Philly, and that generally makes things a lot better when you look at all the air traffic that takes place around the country. New York at 39, a cold rain, 33 in Atlanta. You want it cold? Well, Minneapolis is 4 degrees below zero, and look just north of the border. Thunder Bay at 31 below zero, Winnipeg at 27 below, and that cold air in Canada will make a couple of moves southward over the next week or so. And we're going to talk more about that as we look ahead to the seven day forecast coming up in less than 10 minutes. But first, here's another look at Kleistron 9. Good morning and thank you for joining us here for Weather on the Nines. I'm meteorologist Josh Linker and we have some colder weather on the way. It's been mild out there this morning, but as we go through the day, the temperatures will actually be dropping on the heels of a brisk wind. Uh, for tomorrow, sunny but chilly. Temperatures stay about 12 degrees below normal and we'll get warm before we cool down again. And we're kind of locked into a, a colder type weather pattern. So the first storm system is up in the northeast. Heavy snows across the upstate of New York into New England. And then the front that came through our area is attached to that system. But we have a brisk west northwest wind. A lot of cold air clouds over the Gulf of Mexico will kind of keep some sunshine away from our area today and those winds will be strong from the northwest. Again, the front long gone, and as we go through the late part of the evening and into the overnight hours, high pressure starts to get closer, and that will help to calm the wind down a little bit. Tomorrow in the morning, still a little bit breezy. Some spots down near freezing, and we could actually have wind chill values down in the upper 20s in a couple of spots first thing tomorrow. As we go through the day, the sun will be shining, high pressure in control, but temperatures really go nowhere tomorrow, staying in the 50s. And then as we make our way into Tuesday, we'll start to pull in an east wind, and that will help to promote a warming scenario for us over the next couple of days. All right, let's talk about the numbers because we've been in the low 60s to start the day. As we get to lunchtime, we'll be in the upper 50s to around 60, and then by the afternoon, low to mid 50s. So the temperatures are going in the wrong direction today and then gets kind of chilly heading out this evening. By tomorrow morning, some of us down around freezing, uh, many spots in the 30s to around 40, but I mentioned those wind chill values gonna make it feel even colder first thing. And then heading into the afternoon, upper 50s, maybe 60 degrees in a couple of spots tomorrow. All right, the details for today. 
We're going to refer to it as this afternoon. Normally we show the high temperatures here, but those highs occurred very early this morning and will be in the 50s to around 60 for your afternoon temperatures. Now, if you wanted to get out on the boat today, it's not looking good at all. I would advise strongly to not go. Small craft advisory winds out of the northwest at 20 to 30 knots. The sea's up at 7 to 9 feet in rough and even very rough conditions in some spots on the inland waters today. A little bit more improved tomorrow, but better boating for Tuesday into Wednesday for sure. As we warm things up, the sunshine will be out and a lighter wind. A low temperature is more reasonable. Our next cold front's going to come through on Thursday. We've got a rain chance then at 70%, and then it gets colder following that Friday into next Saturday. That's your seven-day forecast. Another check of the weather is coming up at the top of the hour, but first, here's another look at Kleistron 9. Just Josh Linker is there for us today. Good morning, Josh. What a, a rainy night it was, and I guess it's turning into a cold day for us. It sure will, Angie. As we go through the afternoon, temperatures are going to be going the other way, and you could thank the west wind that is going to be responsible for that, and that is also bringing us some light sprinkles or light showers coming in from the Gulf, at least for the next few hours. We can see that here on Kleistra 9. I mentioned the wind. We've had some gusts over 30 miles per hour. We see that at Sarasota, Brooksville, a gust nearly 30 right now, and we're going to keep the gusty wind in place through the day. So as we look at the temperatures this morning, you're probably thinking, all right, well, upper 50s, low 60s, that's not so bad for a January morning, and you'd be right if you thought that. The only thing is we're going in the wrong direction. Temperatures by this afternoon are going to be in the low to mid 50s. So our highs today have already occurred a couple of hours ago, and we're seeing falling temperatures for today. Now, how low will they go by tomorrow morning? We'll talk more about that forecast in just a few minutes with weather on the nines. But for now, Angie, we'll send it back to you.